Alright guys, so we have made it down to the water, or almost down to the water. Um, I'm gonna get down there and we're gonna walk all the way down to our spot and get a carp rod set up and also do some smallmouth fishing. So, so it should be fun. Gonna uh, put the camera down for now, focus on just getting there. Hopefully we'll get on some fish. Check this out though, to get down to the river, we have to go through this power canal here. Thing's pretty cool, it's pretty pretty sketchy though, would not want to fall into that. Um, now the water is looking pretty low down at the river down there, so uh, I don't know how that's going to fare for carp fishing. I'm not a carp fishing expert at all, so uh, you know, we'll see. Hopefully we'll end up getting on some though, because I would really like to catch a carp today. Alright guys, down at the river now, looking pretty crispy, gonna make my way down to our little uh, spot. Alright y'all, so we made it out here, uh, we're back at the spot that I actually originally saw some carp, so uh, we're gonna get to chumming, get a rod out, and then go fish for smallmouth while we're waiting for a carp bite. We just have some of this Del Monte whole kernel, cor whole kernel corn, go ahead open it up, drain the water on out, there we go, and now we have some perfect carp bait here, what I'm going to do, toss it out a couple feet from shore, hauling in the carp, this is all I'm doing, just covering the hook in corn, and then uh, a few feet up from that we have a little slip sinker, and I'm just going to tie one overhand knot, or half an overhand knot really, so that it can slip out. Alrighty guys, so we got our carp brought out here now. My dumbass forgot my GoPro, so we're stuck just filming with this big camera and my iPhone. I just talked to a couple guys that were also fishing for carp, and they had said that they had just seen a couple carp uh, swim by, and they were also getting a lot of bites, so I'm pretty hopeful that today might be the day that we land a, uh, a nice carp on our own here. Alright guys, there is a huge mirror carp right there on the ledge. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to quietly reel my line back in and get my uh, my bait right where it needs to be. Because I really want to catch this fish. It's a pretty, pretty nice mirror carp. Probably about 15, 20 pounds. Now, uh, all I'm going to do is just as quietly, slowly, and with as much finesse as I can, reel this corn right back into where I was coming. Now, um, I'm going to put it right down there, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go sit up above you guys, and uh, I'm going to wait and see if I can see this fish, but for right now I'm just going to leave this right here. Now, the only way I actually saw that fish was because I went up to this little uh, rock perch right here. I was sitting up there, and I put my sunglasses on, and I could see, and there was just this huge mirror cart just chilling right there. So, uh, super cool to witness. Alright guys, so I made a little change and I moved you guys up here, but right there, I literally watched a mirror carp, the whole body come up and he, he just ate an insect on the surface. I also saw a little pike and a little walleye around here. So I'm going to leave you guys up here so you guys can get a cool view of anything that goes on. Um, I'm going to try to show you guys what this area looks like with my glasses on, and as you can see, we have a bar that drops off right there and fish are just coming up and feeding on this corn here. And uh, I definitely think that we have an opportunity here to get on some good fish, uh, especially with all this chumming around. Uh, there's a bunch of bluegill chilling down there now. We are hooked up to a carp currently. Um, I didn't even know it was there actually. At least I think this is a carp. I don't really know what else. Yes, this is definitely a carp. It's a pretty small one, but uh, nevertheless, it is a carp, so I'm gonna go down and land it real quick. Or attempt to land it.
that is mission accomplished. Uh, caught our carp. Uh, they're still jumping around us now. Still some smallmouth falling up that carp. So we're not stopping there. We're going to get it right the fuck back in the water. Hopefully catch another carp. Let's do it. So there are carp absolutely everywhere. There's one feeding on some corn right there. And there's another one that's a swim off into the, into the depths, which is a pretty big one. Um, now I'm pretty excited right now. Uh, I'm hoping I'll be able to get on, on another one. So uh, I'm going to leave the camera down here, and if I hook up, I'm just going to turn the camera back on, so I probably won't get the hook set, but, uh, you know. So, uh, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Guys, this mud right here is just eroding, and every few seconds it'll just splash into the water. It makes the loudest sound, and it scares the shit out of me every single time. Dude, I have this freaking creepy-ass tunnel right there. I feel like it's about to come and fucking butt-rate me, but, um... Anyway, I just saw a very nice carp, best one of the day for sure, about 35, 40 pounds, very big. Um, came up, checked out my corn, and then a bluegill came and ate my corn and hook, of course, so it scooped it off. But I passed back out to where it swam off to, and uh, I'm hoping for the best. Alrighty guys, so we are currently hooked up on the car. I was watching him just kick, kick, kick away at my uh, line. And there's another big park coming in to check out what's going on right now. Uh, oh my god, this is a really nice fish there. Uh, it's a pretty small carp though. Nothing too big. Um, it's probably about 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 pounds. We're gonna try to horse him in though because there's a lot of other big carp around right now. And uh, I don't want to scoop them off too much. There's also a shad picking this out. Alright guys, we're gonna bring him down here to land him. There's that fish, guys. Super beautiful carp there. Gonna go ahead and get it. Gonna get the release here. He's gonna be home from carp. Thanks for the fight, bud. Sick, guys. Let's get back at it. Having a pretty awesome day out here. Uh, it's winding down, though, coming to an end. Uh, we only have to kill two to fish, and then it's gonna start pouring. And it is currently 132, so I'm gonna try my best to pick off one more fish and then uh, we're gonna head out of here. But it's been a super sick day, got on some carp, and uh, saw some pretty cool fish. So checking with you guys if you catch any more fish, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, we'll see if we can catch one more carp though. Currently, I have two rods out, and uh, my plan of attack right now, and uh, just from observing these carps literally all day, and uh, how they're feeding, what I've done is I've set up on this nice rock bank here, it just dips right down into probably like I don't know, more than, more than 10 feet of water for sure. And uh, I just saw some carp that were well over 40 pounds, and I mean some big, gnarly old bastards. <laughs> and uh, they just swam by. So I'm, I'm feeling good. I have, I have one rod set up at one side of the drop off, and then I have this rod set up right here in front of me. And uh, it seems like these fish are coming up onto this big slant rock here and just picking up all the kernels. And they kind of go back out and come back around this way. So that way I have two rods. Um, intercepting fish that are coming in from either direction and uh, yeah that's that's really all that I can do right now now we just gotta sit down drink some water and wait for the carp to come on by alrighty guys so we are packing up now we gotta go um, it was an awesome day out here lost a lot of fish caught a couple fish and I still fucking see carp right in front of me and it's gonna piss me off forever but with that being said, the day has to come to an end. Fish just jumped behind me. Um, action today was absolutely berserk, dude. There's fish everywhere. Um, I'm definitely going to come out, if not tomorrow, the next day or the day after that. Um, if you guys want to see more carp videos, let me know. I absolutely love making them, and I love coming out here and catching them. So, um, yeah, I, I may do a little tutorial if you guys want to learn how to catch them. I know there's plenty of them out there, but uh, it's different state to state and area to area 
So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.